we're back with our backyard battle during our block party. We have Gigi, Genevieve Gorder, against Giddy Up, John Gidden. They each have just 75 bucks to take down to the old dollar stores uh, and create a backyard setup for us. We're gonna start our tip off now. Genevieve, you begin, ladies first. All right, first tip, guys. Outdoor everything is so, so, so expensive. So anything you can do with color is a good way to do something powerful inexpensively outside, and you should, because you're competing with the most colorful landscape in the world, nature. So whenever I have a big surface area, whether it's a fence, whether it's a table, I like to bring in graphics. Why graphic? Because it's clean and it's tight and nature's wild, it's the contrast. So together, they're a really beautiful couple. I have a $1 placemat from the dollar store. Basically, I've turned it into a giant stencil and created these patterns all across the table, like a pom-pom. A good one. Yeah. Giddy up. Okay. So when you're in a picnic kind of place and you're bringing all sorts of friends to your backyard, you want to have activities to do as well, and you want to have multiple places to do them. So I was thinking of approaching the paint concept from a different perspective. If I this could just is brilliant. Pull off all of this, and I use sticky backs. You know these little yellow things, right, with little stickers? Yeah. Check them out. This is my checkerboard, and I made a backgammon board right there. And you made a backgammon. Nice. Wow, they took a long time to remove. That is amazing. He made a double game board with backgammon. My sister would kick everybody's butt in this room at backgammon. She's amazing at the gammon. Uh, I'm uh, amazing at the gammon. Yeah, you're amazing at the gammon. And uh, checkers or chess at that one. That's awesome, John. Very good. Ready? Fences are such underrated moments in our backyard space and front yard space. They're usually gray or just plain dirty. I like to bring <laughs> graphics and I like to create movement on these big planes, just like I would a wall, but you're outside so you can be a little bit crazier. So what I did, was just a really simple zigzag. I brought in some bell jars and I coated those in paint with light inside, they become a lantern. But the big thing here is two inch holes in the fence become a light feature in your backyard when you just oh, put a cool, simple Genevieve. strand that of cool. outdoor lights. All right, John. All right, you know, when you send two designers into a dollar store, we're gonna find a lot of similar elements. So you're gonna see a variation on a theme here. I also have some bell jars. <laughs> and I fill them up with some white beans and I'm putting those very easy flicker candles, you know, that don't actually emit any heat because you want to yeah. definitely take care of safety as well. And I also did a little paint profile on the, on the fence right here. And if I may, I made one extra. Who wants it? <laughs> is one thing, bribery, I won't draw the line. Go ahead. 